When it comes to expanding your ZFS pool in TrueNAS, you have very limited options, as I found out. If you're adding disks, your options are actually really limited because you can't just add disks to the VDEV and expand it. The easiest but longest way to expand your pool is just to replace the disks and it will auto expand. But the downside is that you have to replace it with the same number of disks that you have in your existing pool. The challenge I was facing was that I have a 20 terabyte pool which is made up of six disks in a RAID Z2 and I wanted to move that to my new storage server which has seven 14 terabyte drives. My first thought was to remove the disks from my existing TrueNAS server and move them into my new TrueNAS server. Then I would import the ZFS pool. Okay, today I am moving all of my drives out of the disk shelf to my new TrueNAS server, which is this server right here. And we're gonna put all the drives in here. So then after pulling all of the drives out of here, I'm put them all in here, a Stornator. Take this last one. Ooh. <laughs> and now all that's left to do is import this into my ZFS pool. And after importing all the disks and the pool, everything is looking good. After that, I would then create a new pool using the new 14 terabyte disks and then use ZFS replication to replicate my snapshots from my old pool to my new pool. Sounds easy, right? I thought so too. So that's exactly what I did, or well, what I tried to do. So here is my current storage pool, these right here, and here is the new storage pool, but I don't have enough space in this storage pool to do snapshots to copy it over to this pool right here. I couldn't take snapshots of my ZFS pool because it said I was out of space. I'm not sure if this is because a majority of my ZFS pool is iSCSI, but no matter what I tried, I couldn't take a snapshot. I thought about the next best thing, and that's just a copy. Sounds easy, right? Again, I thought so too. Well, it turns out because I'm using iSCSI, it's actually using block storage rather than files. So there isn't an easy way to copy block storage from one pool to another. So this sounds a little bit wild, but what I think I'm gonna do is slowly, one by one, replace each one of these disks with one of the larger disks until this whole entire pool has been replaced and resilvered. Then I'll probably run a scrub and then I'll expand the pool on here and expand ZFS. So I decided to try something that I've always heard about but have never tried. And that's replacing each disk in the pool and then let the pool auto expand when I've replaced the last one. I've heard Tom from Lawrence Systems talk about it and a few others too, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I mean, what do I have to lose <laughs> besides 20 terabytes of data? Okay, so what I ended up doing was pulling out all the drives. Well, I shut down TrueDance first, of course, but I pulled out all of the drives so I can arrange these a little bit uh, I guess more logical. I had them mixed up or according to the way that I want them to be, uh, but now I need to put them in a way that I can migrate them. So I'm gonna put all of my old drives in order, starting with the first drive, two, three, four, Six. There we go. So I, I'm going to put these in order so that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, the six drives here, the old ones, so I can gradually replace them with these, these 14 terabyte ones. So I'll replace the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then I will make sure that that pool is okay and they're all resilvered, and then try to expand the pool. Hopefully this goes okay. So I started the long process of replacing each eight terabyte disk in the pool with a 14 terabyte disk. Okay, so I just checked my ZFS pool and it's good. This is up and running and the pool's good. So I guess I gotta pull the first drive and replace it with one of these. I'll get an alert too from TrueNAS probably here soon, but <laughs> guess there's nothing else to do except for pull this disk. So we're gonna pull this one and we'll replace it 
with this one. Okay, that's seated in there. And I just got an alert on my watch. So let's go up there and clear the alert and start resilvering. I will have to wait for each to resilver before replacing the next. I really had no gauge on how long this would take, so I just had to go for it. Every time I replaced one of the drives, I had to tell TrueNAS to replace the old drive with the new drive before it would continue. Then, once I told TrueNAS to replace the drive, it started to resilver the whole pool, which is really just the process of moving good copies of the data to the new disk, which took about eight or nine hours a piece. <laughs> okay, I just got the alert that it was done resilvering, so this one has resilvered. And so this pool is okay now. So I am going to remove the next one. Oh, and by the way, it took uh, about eight hours, nine hours to complete, almost 10. So uh, we'll see if this one completes any quicker. Probably won't. So I'm expecting this to be done later on tonight. So let's pull this one. Then we'll pop this one in. We just got the email alert that this pool has been degraded. So let's go swap out that drive and Trinas and go from there. During this time, I was a little nervous seeing my pool in a degraded state, but Trunas just kept chugging along and syncing the data. Then the moment of truth, replacing the last drive. Okay, this is the last disc. <laughs> this has been a process. I've had to change this out either once or twice a day, wait about eight or nine hours to then put in a new disc. But this is the last one. So I'm not sure if this is automatically going to expand the pool once I replace this one, or if we'll have to do something afterwards. So, all right, well, let's pull this one. And let's pop this one in. That looks good. Now I am gonna pop the rest of these in, but I wanna make sure that this pool is fine before I add additional discs. After replacing the last drive, I then had to go to TrueNAS once more and tell it to replace the missing disc with my new disc. Immediately, my pool expanded to 50 terabytes. Okay, this was awesome. And it worked just like everyone had suggested. TrueNAS just auto expanded the pool after swapping out all of the drives. I'm truly amazed at how ZFS was able to repair my drives and how effortless it was, even if I was swapping six drives over three days. Now for some of my beefs. First of all, I'm not really sure why I couldn't take a snapshot with ZFS on my 20-ish terabytes of iSCSI data. I'm sure if I spent enough time, I might have been able to figure it out. I always hear such great things about snapshots, but for some reason, I was not able to use it on my data set. If you know why, let me know in the comments below. Secondly, and maybe this is obvious from this video and other videos, but I really wish ZFS allowed you to dynamically expand your pool based on your disks. You know, like ButterFS. Not everyone can afford to expand their pool by doubling their capacity. It's just not economically feasible for the average home labber or even small business. And a thumbs up to all you sharp-eyed viewers out there that noticed that my new target pool was supposed to have seven drives. If the ZFS snapshot in NSEN would have worked in my scenario, my new pool would have been seven drives. But because I did the disk replace method, my pool ended up with six. This might have been a good thing because now I have a spare drive, but it's a pretty large 14 terabyte drive that's just gonna sit around in case I need it. And that's the real kicker too is that my spare has to be 14 terabytes or larger. That's something you'll need to consider too, is that you will need to have a spare that's the same size or larger than the smallest drive in the pool. Otherwise, you might be biting your nails until your replacement arrives. So, even though this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I still learned a lot about TrueNAS, ZFS, and ZFS pools. And I hope you learned something too. And remember, if you found anything in this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Some true, true NAS stuff I think I'm gonna do tonight. I gotta migrate uh, all of my data from one true NAS server to another. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna pull the disks out and put them in, or if I'm gonna do, you know, uh, 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 ZFS uh, uh, restore to uh, another machine over the network. Kind of feel like I just wanna take the drives out and put them in the new one, cause then uh, I can get uh, my, 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 my disk shelf out of my rack sooner.